What up with you guys? You know who it is. It's your boy, John Mike. I'm back again with my main man, Ed from Roland, and we're doing all things V-Stage. Check this out. I got a really cool video for you today. I'm going to show you guys how you can hook up and use the V-Stage inside of Logic Pro. Uh, so let's dig in a little bit here. So with the V-Stage itself, right, it, when you have this first turn on, it is in like a generic mode, right? So on the computer, you won't see it as V-Stage. You'll see it as a generic kind of audio in. That's correct. Yeah. So you're only getting the two track of everything. So inside of here, I have a channel pulled up and all I'm getting is just the two track of everything. Right, it's just organ. So if I mix organ and keys, or organ and electric synths, all of that, that's all that's coming in is just those two tracks, right? That's right. It's going to be USB class compliant, so that's just going to be stereo. Just stereo in. out. Now in that mode, you can also just use your phone with USB C, really, and you could go stream live that way. A lot so of I can just plug up. USB-C into my phone, yep. go on Instagram, Facebook Live. Correct, because it's USB class compliant that's cool. at that point. So that's cool. But with a lot of cats, they're not going to want that. Yeah. They're going to want the other way. Yeah. So this is the real cool thing that I really love about the V-Stage, and that is the fact that you can split all of these sections into their own channel. And I think that is one of the most game-changing features of this particular keyboard, this particular stage piano. That I don't know if there's a stage piano that does. I ain't gonna I know throw if Phantom him. does it. Phantom does but it. Yep. I don't think you can do it with some other boys. But what we're gonna do, so here on the computer, uh, again, as you say, it's two channels. But if we want to make this into uh, that mode where we can split it out, multi track it, we have to change the mode. So you might be confused about this. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So in the menu, we'll go down and we will shift over until we get to system and then general, and then we gotta go down to where it says USB driver. By default, it's set as generic, but mm -hmm. what you're gonna wanna do is change it to a uh, vendor, and it's gonna mm -hmm. ask you to write, and you just hit write. Are you sure? Okay, and it writes it to the system. Now, you might think, now I'm ready to go, but you're not actually ready to go until you cut it off and start it over, and once, it comes back on if i pull it up now and i see all of these inputs one two three four five six seven eight nine ten up to 18 one two is still my stereo out for everything right that's correct but if i go to inputs three and four i might not hear anything but that's because it's the sub outs yeah correct? nothing's routed to there so yeah but if we... i route something to uh inputs three and four in the v stage it's going to come out three and four in that right correct but if i want to do five and six uh, that's going to be my organ correct that's the organ all right and then seven eight is going to be piano all right and then in, that would mean that nine, if we're following that logic, nine, 10 is the electric just by itself. And then 10, uh, 11, 12 is going to be synth A. And yep. then the next one is going to be synth B and that's 13, 14. If I have that turned on. There you go. And then these other outputs after that, or inputs is 15 and 16 would be? 15 and 16 is the inputs right here. On the back. So if you're running something into the V-Stage, maybe another keyboard okay. that doesn't have this capability, mm -hmm. <laughs> you can kind of run them in there. So you can run it in like an interface. And then, That's right. then we have 17, 18, which is going to be? The mic input. The mic input. That's right. So the mic inputs, so the inputs are on the last and then all of that. So what this is, while this is dope is, it allows you to be able to split everything out. So if I want to say, set up like, let's just say six channels real quick. And I wanna have each one of these on a different input. So I can have my organ right here on channel one. I can have my uh, piano here on channel two. I can have my um, EP on channel three so on and so forth we can literally route everything to where it needs to be and then let's just say i had we'll keep this um we'll keep 15 and 16 as if i had something else plugged into it right yes so now everything 
you can see everything is on a different channel. So we could easily. Now I got all of those on different. Groups. Got all of those on different channels. So now we got organ. We got piano. EP. So on and so forth. And even my synths and all of this are on these other channels. I just turned down low. So you can see that that's really powerful being able to do that. And then if I pull up a MIDI channel, the cool thing is if I'm pulling up like uh, we'll just pull up a, just a default patch, but I'll just pull up an empty channel strip because I'll show you guys something that I would probably do with this particular setup is I will pull up my MIDI with my audio. So now not only do I have audio, but I also have MIDI in this session as well. And I think that's pretty cool. You know, the cool thing about, one of the cool things about the V-Stage is we were able to record all of that audio, but yet we didn't forget- That we can record the MIDI. The MIDI. Well. And just as a quick recap, the organ is MIDI channel one, two, three. The acoustic piano is four. Electric piano is five. And the synths are each six and seven. So you could record all of those MIDI channels separately, mm -hmm. or maybe we just record it where it records them all, and then you can kind of have yep. it split by channel. But then simultaneously, we can record the, the MIDI, audio. The audio, the audio and the MIDI all in one swoop. Yeah. I think that's really, really cool. Yeah, that, that's really cool. I don't think there's anything else of this level out there that can do that. And that's the thing that impressed me the most about this board as we kind of got into it, because I'm like, yo, that's 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 actually the game changing feature for me is that it can send audio and MIDI. And so whether you're doing a live session or you're doing a studio session or whatever you're doing, you can also be able to incorporate the MIDI and the audio and be able to record all of the separated parts in, in conjunction with even controlling some of your software synthesizers and stuff like that. So we're gonna dig in a little bit deeper with some of the other DAWs to kind of show, but the process is pretty much the same if I'm working in Ableton mm -hmm. or if I'm working in whatever. In PreSonus and Logic or whatever, it's cool. Now, one thing I wanna talk about also okay. is we have those 18 ins, but we have four outs. So you can go ahead and have your backing track already in your, your session and you could have it routed out to your uh, sub outs of the V stage. And all the while you could just be playing in there and you could be recording and hearing it all. It's all over one cable. That's the coolest thing yeah, I love about cable. this. USB-C. I think that's awesome. I think that's awesome. I think that's really, really cool. So I hope this video helped you guys. Again, we're going to dig in and do some more stuff, maybe some stuff with Maze Stage, maybe some stuff with Ableton so you guys can really see the full kind of capabilities of this board. But I think that this is the most game-changing feature of this particular board, the fact that you can do all of this, whether you're streaming live, whether you're routing your tracks through uh, a situation or like Ableton or whatever, or if you are... Uh, recording audio as for production or whatever the case may be. This can be your central station uh, for that. And I think it's a really, really dope board, man. But thank you, Ed. Thank for you. For being here and helping us out and showing us this. We'll My talk pleasure. to you guys on the next one. I'm out. Holla at your boy. Take care, guys.